So as I said before, deeping dive into the about core topics of data structures and algorithm. There are few topics which is kind of pre-read or you know a building block for all our coming you know topics and discussions. So one of the first important one is time complexity. So suppose there is a problem P, okay, and there are two algorithms: algorithm A1 and algorithm A2, right? And suppose algorithm uh, A1 is taking T1 amount of time, and A2 is taking T2 amount of time, right? And if uh, T1 is less than T2, right? So there is the same problem. The same problem has been given to the two algorithms: algorithm A1 and algorithm A2. And A1 is taking T1 time, A2 is taking T2 time. And if T1 is less than T2, can I say A1 is better than A2 in terms of time complexity? It depends on the environment in which on these two algorithms are running. Okay, so I cannot comment that A1 is better than A2? Yeah, so definitely A1 is better than A2. So A1 is better than A2, you're saying? Yes. So with this statement, you're saying that A1 is better than A2, okay? A1 is better than A2, okay. Uh, Sai, can you say whether Astros is saying right or it is wrong? Yeah, for me, also, it seems to be right only. Okay. You know, okay. Provided uh, both of them are executed in the same environment and in the same given conditions. Uh, same environment. What do you mean by the same environment? So okay. algorithm one and algorithm two are executed in the same uh, system or right now, right, right now, suppose you don't have that information. You only know that algorithm A1 is taking T1 time and algorithm A2 is taking T2 time. What will you say? You're not aware of the environment thing. Okay, if, if I'm not aware of the environment thing, definitely I can't guarantee on A1, T1 is less than T2. No, T1 is less than T2 is this information is with you that T1 took less time, T1 took less time than T2. Both is in the same units. Okay, so like T1 second, T2 second, T1 second is less than T2 second. So this is there with you, but can you, with that information, can you tell me A1 is better than A2? No, no, uh, that's what I'm saying. If, if the environment and these things are not given, definitely I'm not sure whether I could say that A1 is less, A1 is better than A2. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, we cannot uh, say anything about A1 and A2 because, you know, uh, the time that an algorithm takes uh, to uh, execute the code depends on so many factors, okay? So one of the factors is, as rightly well said by Sai, you know, it's environment, right? Or the operating system, or the machine on which this particular algorithm is running, right? So suppose uh, uh, A1 is running, you know, the current very, you know, high compute intensive application, right? A multi-processor, multi-core machine. And suppose A2 is running in a 10 years old single core machine, which uh, memory is also less, right? And all those things, right? So definitely the, you know, the operating uh, speed or the operating cycle of the A1 will be more than eight. This is one, uh, you know, dependency on which the time it uh, takes to run the algorithm depends. The other will be the language of the choice, right? So you'll be knowing that anybody who's doing a competitive programming where there's a next for the time, uh, people use it mostly C++ because it's very time optimized. But if you write the same code in Python, it will take a little more time. So it also depends on the kind of language that you're using to write the algorithm. The time may vary, right? So the total time taken by any algorithm to, you know, to execute the steps uh, depends on so many factors. It depends on what operating system you are running that, what kind of processors are involved, what kind of language that are using, right? So many things, right? So just looking at the time, we cannot, we can never comment whether one algorithm is better than the another algorithm. So if we say that time complexity is the measure of time taken by an algorithm to execute it, this is a wrong statement. So time complexity cannot be determined just based on the time taken by the algorithm to run it. Because time complexity is a general concept. If an algorithm has a better time complexity, it should be better on every uh, every operating system. It should not be key. my computer, it was better. And if I run it, your computer, its performance will go down, right? If it is a better algorithm, it should work on every operating system, right? So that is why time complexity is, uh, as most of you know, folks uh, have a misconception that time complexity is related to the time taken by the algorithm, but it's not the case. So what is time complexity then? So a very simple definition of time complexity is the time complexity is, you know, how many number of operations a given code has to do proportional to the input size. So for example, if I write a function like this, public wide 
drawing my hint and and inside this I write a for loop for and i equals zero i is less than n and do sop sop just means system out of print so i'm doing say hello world right so what the time complexity definition says is that based on the input size how many operations are happening inside the code or a given block of code so here you see that you know this method has an input size n now based on the input size i am doing how many operations based on the input size i am also doing n number of operations so if my number of operations are proportional to the input size i say that my time time complexity is linear so basically time complexity is you know how number of operations number of business logic that you are executing inside a function is dependent on the input size so if this i have to say i just call it you know order of n see the time complexity again if you go down uh, there so many things like asymptotic analysis big o small o medium o average worst case best case right but those all things are not needed actually we just need to understand practically uh, because i don't want to go into theoretical but the practical aspect so that you are actually able to solve the problem and understand the complexity thing so the only thing that you need to understand is that you know what is time complexity a time complexity is how the number of steps that any functions will you know undergo proportional to the size of the input so here if i have to say the number of operations is proportional directly proportional to the input size so i so that say that the time complexity is order of n if suppose i didn't have this loop so i take another example okay and i didn't have any loop here i just had a simple sop statement can you tell me what will the time complexity in this case it will be a constant time will be constant time will be constant because uh it doesn't depend on the size of input whether n value of n is 1 whether value of n is 100 whether n value of n is 1 million whatever the bigger size of the input you take the number of operation is only the execution of one line of code which is printing vishwa so the time complexity will be o of n okay let's now take this definition to a little further and uh, on oh, vishwa yeah what if we if we write the uh, system dot of uh, print ln n number of times so both the methods will be uh, same yeah so if you do this like n number of times okay so the time complexity will depend will become uh, you are doing n number of operations for the input size based on the number of input that you are taking then the time complexity is order of n itself yes but the problem is but the problem is again in that case uh, if this thing is dynamic or not the number of statement that you have written inside the code is dependent on this or not if it is not dependent on that then again the time complexity will be will be constant only so for example you know what i'm trying to say is that suppose sop you have written it like five times like this you have written and if this thing is not dynamic this thing is not dependent on the input size right it's just like five times you have written okay in that case again this number of line execution will always take a constant time it is independent of the input size if even if you put n equals to 1 million this number of lines is still remain six and whether you put n is equal to 1 n equals to 2 n is equal to 5 n equal to 10 or n is equal to 1 million the number of time that you have put sop will be always a fix so still i will say that you know the number of operations that i am doing is not dependent on the input size so my number of time the time that it will take it will be constant so again the time complexity will be constant but if the number of sops that you are writing inside a function is dynamic and is dependent on n so if it is 5 then you are written writing sop 5 times if it is n then you are writing sop 10 times if it is 1 million then you are writing sop 1 million times in that case the number of sop is dependent on the input size so then i say that it is linear right and how do you do it for that you will have to write a loop it's not possible dynamically to write the sop by just you know uh, so in that case the time complexity will be constant itself i guess that answer your question okay good cool.